welcome to part two of the series on Arctic. This is on offering Arctic. I've already given a class on the Arctic tray, the articles that go on it. So now let's see how we offer these articles. And please remember these classes are for home deity worship. They're not for temple deity worship. So first of all, I'm breaking this down into about six or seven points. First point, a householder might offer a full arctic of nine articles, or they might offer a simpler version. For example, five articles, the incense, flour, bathing, water, the cloth, and a fan. The arctic tray is commonly placed on a small table to the side of the altar, usually on the left-hand side. And it's on this left-hand side that the pujari stands when they're offering the arctic. Point two, the order in which we offer the articles. And this is variable. Some people offer the incense first, and some offer the bathing water and then the cloth first. The whisk, the fan, and the conch shell are always offered last, though, in the order of the articles. My spiritual master, Jagat Guru, he mentioned that if when you're visiting a devotee's home and they invite you to offer Arctic to their deities, you should first inquire what order they offer the articles and then follow that procedure. Number three, how the articles are offered. I will first describe offering incense. And then you can use these same principles, the same procedure for the other articles. The person offering Arctic is doing so on behalf of any of the assembled devotees present there. Before beginning, the Pujari, trying with a humble state of mind, physically offers their obeisances to the deities. And in his mind, he offers his respects to all the devotees present. The Pujari picks up the, with using his right hand, picks the spoon up out of the water pot and rolls three drops of water onto the palm of his hand. This purifies his right hand. Then he drops, using his right hand, he drops three drops of water onto the bell, and that's purifying the bell. Then he drops three drops of water onto his left hand. And then using his left hand, he picks up the bell and he's going to ring the bell throughout the uh, Arctic ceremony with his left hand. Now with his right hand, he then places three drops of water onto the incense. Now we will begin ringing the bell with the left hand. The Pajari picks up the incense stick, bows his head slightly towards his, the picture of his spiritual master, and then circles, using the incense, circles three times around the spiritual master's feet. The Pajari then circles the incense three or maybe seven times around the whole body of the spiritual master. So keep this simple, not be caught up in counting the circles. <laughs> Instead, be focused on offering to the deity. So when you're offering incense to them, do so with the focus of offering the aroma for their pleasure. And likewise, for all the other articles that you're going to be doing, do it with purpose and focus. But always begin with their feet, all the deities. If the photo of any of your deities is your spiritual master, or you have photo of um, Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nichinanda, if it does not show their feet, then you mentally offer the incense to their feet. Then next, after you've offered the incense to your spiritual master, in my case, Jagat Guru Siddhasarupananda, then you offer the incense to Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Now, according to which deities you have, I will now go to the order that you offer in. Lord Nichinanda, and then Lord Chaitanya. 
then Jagannath, Balaram, Subhadra, then Sri Krishna, then Lord Nishrimadev. Now many people may not be worshipping on their altar Jagannath, Balaram, Subhadra or maybe Lord Nishrimadev, uh, but this gives you an indication of the order for offering. Number four, after all the deities have been offered the incense, the Pajari then turns towards the assembled devotees who are there and offers the incense to them by circling, circling the entire group of family members or friends one time, maybe up to three times with the stick of incense. And then the Pajari places the incense in a holder and begins the process again with the next article. The lamps, if you offer the ghee lamps, they are passed out amongst all the people that are there. And also the flour can be passed out amongst all the people that are there. Now the conch shell. The conch shell is offered at the end of the Arctic ceremony, but it is not offered to each of the deities. You know, you're not circling their feet and circling their body, offering the conch shell. You blow the conch shell at the end of the ceremony and you're actually offering them that auspicious beautiful sound of the conch shell and it's also signaling the end of the ceremony. Number five, at the end of the Arctic ceremony. Now the Pajari can lightly clean the area with a cloth that they have there because a lot of water spills around on the little table and that Use the whisk or the fan, check that they are now hung somewhere safely. Then the Pujari offers their obeisances to all the deities, steps back and begins chanting with all the assembled devotees. The Pujari might also take the food off the altar at the end of the Arctic ceremony. Number six, when the deities' doors or curtains are closed, the Arctic tray must be taken away and washed immediately. The cloths are washed and hung out to dry. The other items are washed and stored in a clean place. Everything must be kept clean for Krishna. Next, I will do three classes that will conclude this series on Arctic. Why do deity worship? Installing a deity at your home and caring for your deity. So until next time we meet, namaste.